So I just want to show a couple of pictures and then I'll explain after why I'm just going to run through them. So Human Rights Consortium, School of Advanced Study, University of London. There's many of these, every one of them I show you, there's many splinter groups. I'll explain after. LGBT rights by country or territory. Black Lives Matter, International Human Rights Movement. Healthcare is a human right. Guidance on a human rights-based approach in health and social care services. Education is a human right. The right to freedom of association. Unions, union rights, your, we demand a strike rights. Associations, all sorts of associations everywhere under every umbrella. American Medical Association, National Teachers Association, Pharma Strategy. So those are all special interest groups, all of them, and there's so many more. And what are special interest groups, also known as pressure groups, lobby groups, groups of people who share a singular common purpose, and they try to influence the government. So the reason I bring this up is because, you know, I, I, the political system, forget it. I, yeah, maybe somebody can come along and fix it. Yeah, yeah, right. How? How are you going to make all these people happy? And, and here's the worst part about all of this. The worst part is that with all these unions, all these associations in medicine, um, the teachers, the science, all of these layers, the people that our founders were trying to protect get lost. I mean, LGBTQ rights is the perfect thing to, again, stamp all over the average American. Yes, I'm going to say it. I don't care who calls me racist. It's not racist for me to say, no, when you have a special interest group, you want to be racist from everybody else. And you're doing it, and your associations are doing it, because they want to divide people, not just divide people, but the true people they want to hurt because they've never served is the average people. The people like me that aren't in a union, aren't in an association, just are trying to stand up for what is fair for me. But no, I have to be drowned out. I have to be silenced. Now, every media platform um, under the sun, social media, silenced. Because no, my voice is the one that isn't allowed. The hard worker, the person that's just trying to get ahead, not, not looking to be some, you know, uh, have some mansion in the sky um, it, or, or, or so much money they, they don't even know what to do with. Just somebody that would like to live comfortably, right? But no, no, we have to do the we have to do drag time story hour in the class. We have to protect um, drag uh, drag queens at all costs, no matter what they do to children. We have to um, protect LGBTQ rights, all at the cost of of the average. It's always at the cost of the average person, because obviously they don't consider themselves average. They consider themselves special. They are a special interest group, right? Which means I don't matter. And that's who the government serves. It's not at all what the founders envisioned. The founders did not envision a bunch of experts, Ivy League experts, deciding what everybody else should do, deciding who has to take an injection and who doesn't. I mean, the very fact that somebody would, would, would not allow me to have a job because I don't want to get a flu vaccine. I mean, God, what, three years ago it was COVID, but now they'll take exemptions for that, but they're going to force the flu. Because that's what you're doing. You're forcing it. And the government, you government, you Republicans and Democrats, you're allowing them to do this. To me, an average person, and there's many like me, and, and most of, you know, most of our life we don't expect anything from you guys. We really don't. We don't. 
because we we've we've seen who you serve you serve the special interest groups you serve pharma you serve the teachers union you serve the nurses union bernie does you serve the healthcare unions and the associate you serve everybody that the founders didn't want to see our government serve all the people that have the power the money i mean i all these nurses across the united states that are on strike and think oh this is such a good thing getting so played by american nurses association and national nurses united those members have no idea how much those people at the heads of those organizations make worth millions but all of them they stand in the way of the american dream they they just they they spit all over it and they deliberately bring in these new groups and i i i am to the point now i think that they they bring in these new groups blm whatever it is all to say no our rights matter more than yours we god forbid we ever we we be a congress or a house that focuses on just the average person that isn't in a union that just is just trying to get ahead and maybe remove some barriers rein rein some of these associations and organizations in so that it can be a level play like all of these special interest groups lgbtq they want to infringe their rights upon everybody i mean lgbtq is literally a religion it is for those that don't know they just don't want to say it but they are they are they operate like a religion and yet they want to push it on me the same way pharma and medical associations and science wants to tell me what i have to do in order to have a job how dare any of you people and how dare anybody in our congress or our, 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 our the house and I, i don't i don't care i don't care what president i i don't i don't care There's nobody that can come along and make all these groups happy. What those what they will come along and do is make everybody happy that's in these special groups. That's what they always do because those special interest groups always have the money and they lobby. Did the founders even envision lobbyists? No. They just wanted the government to serve people like me and to make sure that rich organizations, rich institutions, hacks on TV whether they're on the right or the left talking about this is the problem, that's the problem. Yeah, all the while that you talk about all that, the person that gets lost in the shuffle every single time, every single damn time is the average person. The person that's been living paycheck to paycheck um expects to live paycheck to paycheck the rest of their life and accepts it. but would just like the government to at least not allow the associations the unions the lgbtq the blm all of these other special interest groups to take more away from us than all the other ones that came before them I I I literally think these lobbyists these special interest groups they do it on purpose. I I think opening the borders up it's it's a great way to 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 push for, I mean really all of these things it all focuses away from the average American because the government has never wanted to serve for the average American. They serve for these special interest groups because of special deals or money or whatever. Matt Gates doesn't get any lobbyist money. Yeah. probably why McCarthy and Newt Gingrich and all of them hate him huh cuz they all got kickbacks from those special interest groups that's why they never served the american people but Matt Gates who stood up to that swamp and that's how bad that swamp is all their special interest groups all their unions all their medical science associations in their ear and we'll give you this we'll give you that and slowly has has stepped all over the very freedoms our constitution was supposed to protect do you think does anybody in america that's average american really think for one minute that our founders would support special interest groups hell no they would consider them as well factions they wanted a government that would prevent these special interest groups from becoming more powerful than the everyday person the government was to serve us not their effing lobbyists